Welcome back to my channel. On behalf of Brit, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany, and today's video is just another weekly vlog. I am in my hair room because I just finished doing hair for the day. It was a long day. I had three appointments, and two of them got knotless braids. Y'all know knotless is time consuming. Um, I just ordered red lobster, y'all. <laughs> I randomly get into these moods where I want red lobster. I really do like their food. So, um, I ordered some shrimp linguine alfredo, some stuffed mushrooms, some cheddar bay biscuits, which is the real reason why I was craving it, the biscuits. And then I got some fried scallops, a bunch of stuff, like a whole feed. I have not eaten much of nothing all day. I had a Lunchable earlier. I think I done told y'all before in vlogs that I get Lunchables just to get me through the day, something quick to snack on. Um, and I snacked on one of those and I think I had a granola bar and it is now 10 p.m. While I was doing my last appointments here, I was like, what am I gonna eat for dinner? I don't feel like cooking, it's late. Trailing a made chicken. I don't eat chicken. What am I gonna have? And I was like, I want red lobster. So I got it. I did not vlog any of my hair appointments. There won't be any hair appointments in this vlog. I'm gonna try to just do everyday life. I'm going home to Florida next week, so I'm getting prepared for that trip for my best friend's 30th birthday. I have an event this weekend that I'm doing drinks for, so I'll be vlogging like me prepping the drinks and getting everything done for that. Um, a few different things I wanna do, so this will just be a regular vlog. But yeah, let's take a look at this food. I'm in my hair room because I just cleaned it up. It's so cozy, so comfortable in here, and I love this space. And then on top of that, all of my subscriptions, Y'all know my bird, Fenty loves Curious George. So that's what's on the TV right now. But my plan was to come in here and sit and eat just because over time, my clients have just logged me into all of their apps. This TV literally has every streaming app you can think of. Me personally, the only app I pay for, like subscription-wise that comes out of my account is Prime Video. And technically I pay for three things because within the Prime Video app, I pay for BT Plus and Lifetime Movie app. I'm a big Lifetime person. But yeah this is the stuffed mushrooms which just looks like a big glob of cheese probably because they just laid the cheese on top and baked it like that but it's supposed to be six mushrooms let's see yeah it's like six mushrooms all of this stuff probably got to go in the air fryer shrimp linguine alfredo extra side of alfredo sauce two biscuits fried scallops y'all a hot mess <laughs> I'm about to go see if Trill wants some because this is a whole lot of food. But if she doesn't, I'll just kind of like separate it into containers and eat it over the next day or so. It'll be something to snack on tomorrow um, because tomorrow is another busy day of hair appointments. I restocked the little snack area earlier today because I knew it was going to be a busy day. And the other day when I was in Walmart, I found these Werther's candies. If you're into the Werther's um, company, they have these chewy candies. I got the caramel apple and this was the last pack they had, but they put out their fall flavors. I'll put some of the other ones on the screen that they did have, but I'm gonna be keeping these in stock for fall. These are so good. It tastes just like a caramel candy apple. So, so good. Um, so I gotta get a little candy dish for these because I'm gonna be I'm gonna get the other flavors and put these out. But I made a couple more bags of trail mix. I have fruit snacks back there. We still working through that candy. I ended up adding chips, and then this little bucket right here is just overflow. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all these um caramel apple candies because they are so good. <laughs> hey y'all so it is now friday and as y'all can see i just finished doing hair 
I'm getting a text message. Um, I just finished doing hair. I told y'all I was going to try to vlog around my hair appointments. But just for reference so y'all can see how I started my day. I did um, some boho knotless and we tried a different curl pattern. But it was so cute on her. That was my client, Rashante. And she was my client in Tallahassee when I was living in Florida braiding hair as a college student. And she has been in Atlanta a couple years and we recently reconnected and I'm her braider again. And I love that because... I have another client coming up. She has an appointment on Monday and she just moved to Atlanta and she was my client for five years when I was in Tallahassee. She just finished school. We were in school at the same time, but she went to school for almost 10 years because she was studying to be a veterinarian, which I'm so excited about because if something ever go wrong with Fenty, I have a client, somebody I'm real cool with, somebody I trust um, to give me advice on what to do as far as like my bird or whatever. But yeah, her name is Brittany. And she may not make this vlog, but she has an appointment coming up. And I said all that to say, like, it's just a blessing to know that so many people braid hair. So many people, um, it's so easy to discover other stylists. Um, so many people do what I do and can do it well. So for them to move here and try to reach out to me. And I, I know it's like a familiar thing. Like, she used to do my hair back in the day. I trust her with my hair. But to be in a new city where there's so many other options, I just feel honored to still be someone that my older clients from florida still contact to this day so that felt good to do her hair today and now i have like a little gap just these comes over later today in the last vlog i believe that was the last vlog she came over but that was just for fun like she just wanted to see me but today she actually has a hair appointment and so um until her hair appointment later today because she's a school teacher i can't do her hair till she gets out of school i'm gonna run to a few stores um, but i wanted to show y'all a quick little haul of some things i've gotten um i went on fashion over to get the dress for my best friend's birthday party because it's an all black party um everybody that's coming has to wear black she's wearing a different color but i went on fashion over to get a dress for her uh party that still hasn't come yet my fashion over package hasn't come because i just ordered that stuff before i started this vlog but a week or two ago before i started my budget plan i went on she in and all of my fall stuff has come so i'm gonna show y'all a few pieces from that also, I want to show y'all a couple of things from Pop Shelf. My friend Danielle recently went to Pop Shelf and she said all of their stuff is marked down to 90% off. So if it's a dollar, it's 10 cents. If it's two dollars, it's 20 cents. So I'm going to Pop Shelf. I have a couple of Pop Shelves in my area to see what they have just to rack up on summer stuff. Even though the season is behind us, I could always use it. I have a couple of trips later this year where I'm going to be around water. So I'm going to see what other like beach essentials they have. And then coming up for the next year just to have stuff for next year stocking stuffers for christmas if they have anything i'm gonna link danielle's channel down below and y'all can see like a full haul of all of the stuff because just in case i get to the store and everything's wiped out and besides that y'all should definitely check out her video um i'm gonna show y'all what i can see in the store today but she caught the sale right at the beginning so a lot of cool summer stuff but this is the bag she brought it to me to work because danielle is my friend from work my co-worker the first thing she gave me was this um feather swim ring and it's just like a pool float but it has feathers inside it so when you blow it up a bunch of pink feathers are float around and it's so mean it was six dollars marked down for 60 cent and she gave this to me this is one of the things that was in her haul and then she also gave me these two little drink floats i don't know how much these was they don't oh they were 50 cents because they were five dollars so she got both of these for a dollar two for a dollar and you just sit your cups in them while you're in the pool swimming floating around it'll float with you and i love all things unicorn at my big age i always have they're like my spirit animal so definitely was happy for her to give me with this even if i don't use them this summer i don't take them with me to florida next weekend like i said I am traveling later in the year and I will definitely take this to the resort with me. So she gave me those three things and I was so appreciative and it motivated me to go shop to sell. So we're about to go do this. And then let me show you she in y'all. They played with me. I'm going to show y'all in just a minute. But first get into this hat. It's a cute little knitted hat. Throughout the fall, throw this hat on on a bad hair day. I got to kind of shake it loose because it's like a fringy. It's supposed to be like this fringe coming from it. And it's all like bent out of shape. But... I really wanted a knitted crochet hat. So it's a green crew neck and it says, Jesus is King. 
it's so cute it has like little daisies and flowers on it it gives that 70s like groovy vibe I like this with some jeans and some dunks. But just because I'm excited about this stuff, it just came to my door. I wanted to show y'all that this cute little cardigan. It gives Fresh Prince of Bel Air like that 90s flare vibe, but it has purple, orange, pink. This angle where I'm sitting is really bad, but I kind of just threw all my packages in this corner in my hair room. This is one of my favorite things I got from Shein. I tried this on immediately when I got it because I was excited to order it. Even putting it in my cart, I'm like, oh, this is so cute um fringy but it's cut into an angle it gives you a little leg action i don't think i would wear it past like october early november when it gets super cold but this with a boot and like a cream turtleneck so expect to see this skirt styled up real cute real soon she ain't made me happy with that stuff but while i was on the site shopping and i told y'all i'm saving for trips saving for stuff i got going on next year i said let me go ahead and get a few vacation things because i seen a lot of their summer stuff was marked down super cheap and i said um this can be for my trip coming up they were ripped in the seam so this has to go back and i was so excited about these pants as well they flare out at the bottom so cute i got the perfect bodysuit to go with them i thought but when i got the bodysuit it was advertised online as a different color and when i got it it was more neon and although i could try to get it to match i don't know if it's picking up on camera for y'all but this is like a bright 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 orange and the orange in here is more like pastel corally it's like a coral peach color and this is like a neon orange i don't know if y'all can see the difference on camera but in person it's completely off when it looked like a good match online. So my clients are so resourceful. I have a client who's a seamstress, an older lady, Miss Shirley. I may get her to um, like just stitch the pants back up, but I'm scared as soon as I pull them up my bit behind, they might it might pop back out, being that the material was so cheap to get ripped like this. I feel like someone had them and returned them or either it's just poorly made. Um, it's an easy fix, honestly. I could even probably sew the seam back up, but it's just the principle for me. Like, she and you might, yeah, they might be getting this bag. And there's a bunch of other things spread out on the floor right here. I'm trying to pick and choose if there's anything else I want to show y'all, but I think I'm just going to wait to do a big, big video haul, like a lookbook, file lookbook. I I don't know, <laughs> but when the other stuff comes, I'm going to do one big video. But I will show y'all this jewelry. I know I always get my accessories from Shein. I love these, this type of style of earring right now. Then I got like a more basic stud, but it's bigger. It's trimmed in gold. And then I also got this um, pair of hoops. I want to take it out the packaging to show y'all. They are so pretty. It's like a gold hoop, but they're studded with little rhinestones, but they're not studded all the way down. The bottom is just a basic gold, but the top has all of the jewels in them. So cute. And then here's another look at the earrings, the studs I got. These are so pretty. But these right here are my favorite. Like, don't be surprised if I wear them out. They are so cute. But yeah, that's all the stuff I want to show for right now. I got packages over there, a bunch of stuff from Shein. But yeah, let me clean up my mess and get out of the house. Um, I also need to go by the liquor store because I think I told y'all earlier in the vlog, I'm doing like a party package, making a bunch of drinks for my cousin. My cousin and her friend group are doing like a end of summer pool party, a wet party. Um, So by wet party, I mean like they're going to have a bunch of wet games where you get wet. So you got to come in a swimsuit and they're doing like a water gun fight, water balloon fight an adult slip and slide um i think she said slip and slide baseball she reached out to me to make a hundred um spike drinks so i have to make 50 spiked popsicles which has been a minute since i filled an order on camera so i need to make sure that i get that in this vlog like a mango rita mango margarita um popsicle and then i'm thinking about doing like something with rum in it like a rum based blue lagoon type um popsicle since it's a pool party in the summer bash type thing and then she wants 50 jello shots so 50 popsicles 50 jello shots i gotta get vodka for that i gotta get fruit chasers all of that stuff so we about to hit a few stores and i got three hours to do it i got a good amount of time yeah let's hit the stores and i will see y'all outside Oh, Georgia, you can walk around with it. You just can't. 
I went to Mega and I got the stuff for the Jello shots and the popsicles I was telling y'all about. But I wanted to show y'all this one has gold flakes in it and it's edible. Rose gold, huh? This one, huh? But this is the rose gold strawberry. It got jalapenos in it. Holla yes, granny. <laughs> <laughs> Just this say everything funny. And I had um drunk one when we left and my mouth still feel tingly. Y'all know Pink Whitney, but what blew my mind was the miniatures of the one with the gold flakes and then the twisted tea. I never seen a twisted tea miniature. They normally have them in a can at the corner store. Y'all know the little spike drinks. Oh yeah. Then this mango shot. Of, that's the one I told y'all I got my mouth still tingling. And then these pre-made mimosas, the peach bellini Andres. They have those in Mega too. The rest of the stuff, I'll show y'all when it's time to make the pouches. I know I said I wasn't gonna blog hair, but I had to show y'all this. Just went to Angie's and they have Bobby Boss Knotless hair. We got 427.30 in one pack. And then we got 427.613 in another pack. And we're going to blend all of that up. We're doing goddess braids. We have this mix that has, well, it's called vanilla, but it has a platinum blonde, which is a 613, a honey blonde, which is a 27, a number 33. Just looking at it, that looks like a 33. And then this mustard yellow. So you have to check out the Bobby Boss knotless collection i already have a pack of the curly hair separated so this is how it looks out of the packaging pretty texture the color combo justice chose was perfect it was right on point for fall just the right amount of blondes and browns and everything flowed so well together the curly hair that she chose has a rough texture so if you look at it it is kind of rough but once you put foam and some moisture to it the curls came through really nice i just love this color blend Midway through her appointment, I decided to feed her. She said she never, never had Culver's before, so I had to make sure she got the burger. She had onion rings. I got some shrimp, and then I poured us up some of that Andre Peach Bellini Mimosas. Okay, y'all, so just like that, we are done with Justice's hair. Jordan ended up coming over, and we tag team her hair so it didn't take long. I ended up pouring a whole bottle of that Andre Peach Bellini drink. It was supposed to be like a cute mimosa situation for tomorrow morning. Well, I was getting my orders ready because I ended up deciding to do the orders tomorrow. So those 50 jello shots and those popsicles I told y'all I was doing for that wet party. I'm going to take care of that in the morning because I only have one client. It's a crochet at noon. So I'm going to get up in the morning like 8 or 9, go ahead and fill that order, do my uh, client's hair, and then just chill, vibe, and get ready before I head to drop that order off and make my appearance at the little party. But I wanted to show y'all what I got from the store i didn't go too crazy because if y'all seen the last vlog y'all seen i'm on this savings challenge thing and i'm really trying to do good and not splurging unless it comes to something that i already planned for let's use the mess over here i have a case of chips for like refilling the snacks just random boxes food my friends just left from out of here my cousin was in here we just had a time so yeah I spent money today, but I didn't spend crazy money. I got a curtain rod for my room, and it has like this diamond, like rhinestone looking jewel on the end. So cute, and it's silver. Y'all know my bedroom is black and silver glam. And um, believe it or not, I have not hung any curtains in my room since I moved here. So I've been needing to hang my curtains. I have curtains, just never had a curtain rod. So had to get that, and it was. $12.99 at Ross. Don't ask me how I ended up in there. Also from Ross, I got just this little tank top. It was $2.99. And I love a good ribbed material, anything. But it's like this purplish wine color. Just a little tank top. And I can layer it under like my jackets and whatever. Um, fall season. And then they had the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. I was thirsty to open it, so I opened it in the car. But I've been looking for Sweet Like Candy. But, um, it's been around for a minute. I just wanted to add it to my collection because I really love the bottle. But this is Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy. And this is the one fluent out. So it's a really small bottle, but the packaging is really cute. I didn't expect it to be this small, but... You can get a few little squirts out of it. 
All of Ariana Grande's fragrances come in really cute packaging, but this one is one of my favorites because of this little pom-pom right here. But it says Ariana Grande around the top. And then you take off the little pink cap. So cute. Sweet like candy, y'all smell it. It's really sweet, but it's very subtle. It's nothing too crazy. So those are the three things I got out of Ross. Then we have Pop Shelf, and all of this stuff was marked down two cents. So it's a bunch of random stuff, but it was really cheap. Oh, this is the bag that my friend you know, gifted me the stuff with. I got these little Reese's Thins. It's the white chocolate Reese's, but this is for the snack bar in here. I got these little umbrellas little umbrellas that you garnish your drinks with they look like this and you just sit them in your drink they were four dollars but with 90 percent off they were 40 cents so they're really really cute let me pull one out and they just it's like a rubber thing and they open up and you just sit them on the side of your glass and you garnish your drink so this would be something cute for next summer and you get a box of every color inside so i thought this would be cute for next summer this febreze small spaces thing i got the berry and brombo but it's basically just strawberry it was i want to say two dollars with 90 percent off so i only paid 20 cents for it and i got a couple other things in this bag but i'm not gonna show it on camera because it's gifts um i got these jello shot cups and lids this is a 60 pack I think those jello shot cups that I have, once I fill them for this order, that's going to be all I had. So I just went ahead and got these. So when the next event come up, I do have some. Um, I got a measuring cup because it was only 50 cent. These cups were a part of the summer sale. Them wiping away all of the summer stuff, getting ready for fall. Which I thought was odd because olive green can also be used for festive reasons. Um, I think hunter green or like this olive green is great for fall. But also Christmas too, green and red. But they were $2 with 90% off. So I got them for $0.20. Cent. There was only two left. So I got two. And I was going to um, use it to either dress my table for autumn or or for Christmas, but with two, I don't know how far I can get. If not, it'll be something cute just to make a cute little drink with maybe during the holiday season. So I don't know why this was marked down, but it's a little house. It's a little ceramic house and you can put like incense in here and burn them. Oh, this is probably why it's chipped right here. But I'll probably just take some black spray paint or something and just spray it in. It was $3 with 90% off. So it was $0.30 cent a little house. And again, you can put like, um, I could stick my matches in here. But I use to light candles or some incense, some type of little fragrance stick. And it's shaped like a house. And it's going to go on the front table console when you first walk into our house. This is pretty random leopard. I don't really own a whole lot of leopard anything, but... It was 80 cent with 90% off, so it was 80 cent. And it's a cute little picture. It came with cute little tumbler glasses too, but I just ended up getting the picture just for when I'm feeling party orders. It's something cute because it has this little spout just to pour my orders in when I'm pouring the jello shots in the morning or whatever, just to fill the order. This stuff, crazy still. This bowl is regularly $3 and it was 30 cent. They only had one left. And I just got it just to eat ramen out of, or I wouldn't say cereal because it's kind of wide, but to do a cute little ramen. And it's my favorite color. So that's why I got that. These little plates, $1 with 90% off. So yeah, 10 cent for these. I got four. And again, it's because they're purple, my favorite color. I don't know what I'll do with them. I don't think purple i haven't completely decided what the decor direction i'm gonna go in for fall decor but i don't know if this eggplant is gonna be in the color scheme if so i'll use it to dress the table if not i can never go wrong with purple plates because i love the color but i got four of them can't beat that 40 cent for four plates and then I got this, and this was regular price, $3. That's what I seen. They also had their Christmas stuff already out. I already started putting it out. And they have some cute stuff, some new things that I didn't see last year. Um, So check out your nearest pop shelf. There's two other pop shelves in my area. That's just the one closest to me. I'm going to probably explore the other two just to see if I can find any more markdowns. Because they can be early Christmas gifts, stocking stuffers. 
I really like the fact that those hard glass dishes were so cheap. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna look around and um, if I do find anything, y'all will see it later in the vlog. But that's gonna wrap up tonight. Being that I decided to fill that order in the morning before I do hair, I need to wrap it up tonight. So yeah, just wanted to show y'all that quick haul. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Today is Saturday and it is 8.30 in the morning. And I'm up here at Publix because I call myself getting up and just doing my drink order. My car telling on me. Hold on. Um, I call myself filling the drink order this morning just because I didn't want to have to finish just these hair after drinking and hanging out and try to rush or just not put my best effort into making the drink. So I said I was going to do it this morning and realized while I was out yesterday, I never grabbed um, any fruit to put in the pouch. So if you're ever in a rush like me, having a girl's night, making drinks, whatever, and you need simple syrups or cocktail blends and you find yourself in a Publix like me because that's the closest thing to y'all, they do have syrups in Publix. They're a little bit more but they have them. I'm also not mad at this Cranberry Cosmo mocktail, 0% alcohol. This is cute. I have cut up all the fruit. We have blueberries and strawberries going in my blue lagoon pouches. And then I have mangoes and limes going in the margaritas mango margaritas these are all of the jellos we're gonna do orange purple green and blue because it's a unisex party so i wanted to try to throw in some guy colors pineapple juice out of Publix, i ended up getting this and sweetened lime juice and then we have all the liquors jello shot cups and then i will link the popsicle pouches i use down below this is what they look like. These are short compared to most popsicles, but they're wider. Rest and showered and got ready. Now I'm about to head to the pool party. Just a simple white bikini white bottom white top and then this mesh dress <sighs> y'all i'm spreading like really getting heavy this looks crazy but i'm not searching for no other swimsuit i just started putting my summer clothes away so yeah i got these two little mini mouse buns did my baby hairs this is my last weekend with this hairstyle and i'm sad because i've been going back and forth for about a week but i think i'm going to change my hair for my friend's birthday party next weekend. I think I told y'all my friend Bria's um, 30th birthday party is next weekend and I'm going to Jacksonville. I was gonna hang on to these and just touch up the edges, but I think I'm gonna take them out. So I don't know if I'm gonna need these, but these were the shades that Trill gave me. And these are also from Shein. So I'll link all of this stuff down below, but these are so cute. She ordered them for herself, but she didn't know that the frames or the lenses were pink. So she gave them to me. This is my first time trying them on and they're cute. I just can't push them all the way to my face because of my lashes. Prep took longer than I thought as far as like cutting up the fruit, filling up the bags with the fruit, then doing the jello shots, boiling the water and everything. So I never got to do like a slow step-by-step -step process. So this is me showing you how everything turned out and it was a hit. <laughs> Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's go, let's go. You ready? Come on. You ready? <laughs> you got this, girl. Yay! <laughs> I'm such a big kid because I kept wanting to go down this slip and slide. I cannot.
I forgot to show y'all Fenty's new bathtub. If y'all were around when I first got her, I got her this big blue globe dome looking bathtub. If I can remember to show it to y'all, I will, but she would never get in it. And she started bathing herself in her water bowl where she drinks from. So I ended up ordering her this cute little bathtub. She's scared of it right now though. <laughs> but whenever she decides to get in it, she has a tub. Good morning to you, too. I have her cage open. Hello. Hi. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Hi. Good morning. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Say good morning. Come on. Fenty, come on. She was about to come, y'all. I don't know why she been. It's now Sunday fun day, and we're about to go hike Stone Mountain, a little girls day workout activity. Healthy girls day with JoJo and Q. Um, then we're gonna come back and chill. That's all there is to it. Um, yesterday was so much fun. I never came back and talked to y'all at that house party. I thought I was just going to drop off the order and then mingle around a little bit because it was my cousin and her friend group and I knew a couple of her friends because they're my clients. My cousin be putting me on to business or whatever. So maybe four of her friends out of her friend group get their hair done by me. So I knew clients would be there, my cousin, and I would know people. So I, I planned on mingling and staying around and then everybody had to pay a fee to eat and I went ahead and paid my fee just in case. And it was so much fun. Me and Jordan came. It was Jordan's first time meeting Deanna's friend group. And she got stuck right into a game with Uno. We ended up playing Uno less than 10 minutes after we got there. Drunk Uno. Mind y'all, I was taste testing at the house because I had to make those uh, spiked popsicles. I wanted to make sure everything tastes good, you know, before getting the whole, delivering the whole party package. So was taste testing it um and in a nutshell i used rum vodka and ended up using tequila so taste testing all of that two shots of peach crown upon arrival hadn't really ate much and then um tequila shots they was on shot of cloud tequila shots they had hunch punch had a um cup of hunch punch and by the end of the day we was twisted we ended up going down the water slide, but the sun had done went down, so I don't know if I got good footage of that. But we ended up going down the little slip and slide. They had already played slip and slide baseball and did the water balloon fight, so we missed that. And then I didn't know the location was 45 minutes away, so that was that, but it was fun. It was fun. Now we about to go work out, so I'll see y'all at Stone Mountain. The fit is purple rib tank, black biker shorts, and then my purple peach and turquoise vapor mats. If I mess them up, hopefully I can bring them back to life. If not, it won't be the first pair of vapor mats that then turned into workout shoes. I, I always forgot to comb, huh? Oh, yeah, comb it with my, with my blade. Oh, I bet you meant. <laughs> no, all of y'all who have stretching. When we get up there, y'all start saying, ooh, I gotta try this one. <laughs> Child. It's all bad. <sighs> oh, it's hot, y'all, yeah, but this is pretty. <laughs> Jordan for the work, you nerd. <laughs> With a little piece of the trail complete. <laughs> this is how far we made it, right here before you get to the staircase with the, where the handles. Because that part of the mountain gets steep. That's where we at. And they tapping out. So, this is probably the end of the height. Jordan, we doing. He ran up it. Look him. Look how he running. Oh, y'all. Let me get off the camera breathing like this.
<laughs> so we stopped maybe three, two, mm, five feet from the top. I'll show y'all the staircase. Up those staircase through a few bushes and we would have been there, but baby tapped out. I wanna ride, I wanna ride, guess what? Going down, it's never as bad. Never as bad going down. Hey y'all, so it's been a couple of days and I just left my sister Tan house getting my nails done. Got like a short teal bluish set. Don't ask me what made me go with this color because it's definitely fall season as of, I want to say tomorrow is the first day of fall. Um, and I don't know, she was just showing me all her colors and pulling out her different new stuff that she had. And this color um, stuck out to me. And then she had stones to match it. So I just went with it. Cute little short set. Um, I'm happy to have my nails done. But now it motivated me because my hair isn't done. The twists are just um, falling apart. Like I will say I haven't been doing a good job at tying them up. So that has a lot to do with why they look the way that they do. But yeah, they're coming out. What I'm going to do, because these are very much micro, which means there's so many of them, they're so small, I'm going to break it up over a couple of days. So today I'm just removing the center, a good chunk of the center, and then I'm going to wear my hair up in a ponytail tomorrow because it's still early in the week. I don't go to Florida till Friday. Well, I won't be in Jacksonville till Friday, and it's Tuesday. Um, So I still have a couple of days left in my work week, and then I have a couple of more errands to run this week. I got to get my wax. I got to go... Um, get my feet done, just uh, a polish change and something else I needed to do. Grab a couple of things for I'm making treats for my best friend's birthday party, like her treat table. And I got to get a few things for that. So I just got some ripping and running to do tomorrow. So I'm going to remove the center, wear it up in a ponytail to work um, and to run my errands. And then I'm going to do the outer perimeter. Um, Jordan just said she coming over. So depending on how much she's willing to do. I may take it all out today and just wear my real hair. Um, but we'll see. I'm not going to do my hair until Thursday to like actually install it. Let me know if you're a hairstylist or a braider and you're watching this, how you feel about wash day. At one point, it didn't trouble me that bad. Like I would take my hair down, take a hairstyle out same day, remove the style, wash my hair, detangle it, blow dry it, and then put another style in. Now it's to the point where like all of that is a lot for me. I want to take it down one day, maybe let my hair breathe or go ahead and wash it immediately, then let it breathe a day or two, then put the style in. I don't know why I feel so overwhelmed doing all of those steps in one day. Those of y'all who had a pleasure of being able to um, just take y'all hair down, then go to y'all stylist and y'all stylist wash it for y'all, treat it, style it. I love that for y'all. Um, not to say I can't do it. I definitely have a couple of stylists that I trust with my hair. But if I can achieve the look myself, why not save the money? Um, so that's what's going on. I'm going to a formal event this weekend. And then I have another event coming up the week after. So I just don't feel like the, the twist fit that. I want bundles. I want to put my bundles in. My bundles came today, actually. Let me show y'all. So the new nails and my prime package motivated me. This is the hair. Um, I just ordered some quick Amazon hair because I'm on this wave of protective styles. Just because of the two things I have coming up, I want bundles for that. But right after those events are up, I'm going to take this hair out and put a protective style back in it. Like I'm really just trying to grow my hair and get it in a healthy space. I'm not trying to grow it down my back or anything, but just get it more healthy. Like my edges, everything. I need to keep my hands out of my hair. But for the sake of the party and everything coming up in September, I'm going to install this hair. I want loose wave hair, like a loose romance curl. I didn't want body wave. I didn't want straight. I didn't want nothing super curly. Just like a loose wave. So I got four bundles. I believe the longest inch is a 26. So I got 20, 22, 
24 and a 26 inch. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging. I decided that when I do my install, even though it's just gonna be a quick weave because I'm not keeping it in long, I still want to record. Every time I do my hair, I'm gonna make a video for y'all. I'm going to unpackage this, unbox it in a better way um, on a whole separate video and do my whole quick weave. I'm debating on whether or not I want to perm my leave out. We're just going to see how rough this hair looks when I take it out. I'm about to section out the center and get started taking my hair down. I will come back and talk to y'all later this evening. Trill is grilling. Don't ask me why on a random Tuesday. Trill just decided she wanted to get outside and grill. But I'm about to sit outside with her while she's on the grill because the weather is nice. Like it's not too hot. Um, it's a little cool out. So I'm gonna sit out there with her and remove my twist, chit chat with my sister a little bit. And um, then I'll come back in and close the vlog. We're gonna close the vlog cause I'm gonna start a new video. I think this is a good amount where I could still kind of pull them up and cover the middle. Yeah, so we are gonna work with this. I can't even see what I'm doing. And then kind of like pull this back out the way. Yeah, let's start this take down process. That salmon cooked fast. Yeah, but it's not bad. It looked good. I'm back y'all and I'm just about to pull my hair up I didn't finish taking a twist out I still got this much left but we've been taking shots it just went all bad it went left real quick and the food is ready so I'm ready to eat so this is all I'm about to do right now if I feel like coming back to it after I eat then I will if I get the itis then I won't it'll be tomorrow but right now, I'm about to attack that plate. Everybody else has grilled chicken, but I have grilled salmon. And then we got pasta salad, um, dirty baked beans. Okay, I'm coming. I'm about to eat. This vlog was just randomness. I be trying to still let y'all keep up with what I have going on, even when it's not business related. So that's what I call myself doing in this vlog. So y'all pretty much just close the summer with me. And yeah, in the next vlog, we will be doing my hair. The vlog following that will be in Florida. The vlog following that will be a introduction to the fall. So we'll be decorating the house for the fall, all of that stuff. Then we have our October girl talk. We're talking about sacrifices, what you are willing to sacrifice for a braider, what I suggest you sacrifice, give up, put to the side put on hold while you build your business we're going to talk all about sacrifices as an entrepreneur in my i'm coming in my october girls talk they ready for me to eat so i'm finna come eat but real quick i'm gonna clean out my sink huh i just want you to look at your fish and just see if it was good is it overcooked no so i'm putting 70 you don't want to cook it that high okay yeah. you still got it going or you cut it off Okay, and then y'all have a big sister because how you gonna tell me how I want my fish? Before truck came, I was saying I'm about to clean my sink because I had started taking a couple twists out in the bathroom. It's dangerous and mm -mm. This is my little combination. I spray my counters down. Whether or not you can see it because of the finish on the counters, I still like to spray it down first and I like to use Clean Freak. Okay. But yeah, the Mr. Clean Clean Freak, I've showed y'all this in other vlogs, but I had a different scent. Baby Unstoppables, then partnered up with Mr. Clean. And this is a popular Unstoppable scent, Fresh. Yeah, so I spray my counters down with this just for the smell. I go over it with the brand new Day Wipes. And then while I was in the store earlier on my way home from my sister house, I got these toilet bowl things. So I'm going to sit this in here and clean up my bathroom real good for the week. These are also brand new day scent and the brand new day scent is coconut and sea minerals. It smells so good. It's the perfect scent for a bathroom. So that's what's about to go on. 
But yeah, that concludes today's vlog. I'm about to go check on my fish before Trail starts shouting again. And I will see y'all in the next video.